What's up, a cinema show gun here, and during the first few weeks of this conflict over in Israel, I was mainly focused on what was happening on the ground over in the Middle East. But for the last few days, maybe even a week now, I've been mainly focused on what's happening on the ground right here in America and in other various countries throughout the West. I'm watching these large crowds form. I'm watching these angry mobs march through the streets as they vandalize businesses, as they desecrate statues. I'm watching these large crowds intimidate random innocent people as they try to commute to and from work. I'm watching these angry mobs attack people as they're going out for an afternoon stroll or a cup of coffee. And I can't help but wonder, how does this help the little kids who are dying in Gaza? I can't help but wonder, how, how does spray painting statues and running wild in the streets, how does that help the people of Gaza? It's almost as if the people who are screaming the loudest actually care the least. I don't know about you all, but I would never find myself looting Target, stealing laptops, and desecrating statues in the name of the little kids who are perishing in Gaza. Think about it. If anything, that's a very selfish act. How can I use someone else's misery? How can I use something unfortunate that's happening to other people to my advantage? Oh, I'm going to use the kids who are getting blown up in Gaza as an excuse to go steal from Target or Best Buy. It doesn't make sense. Because, like I said, a lot of these people who are screaming the loudest, they're the ones who really don't care. I think it's scummy when you use someone else's, someone else's misfortune, when you use something as serious as what's happening to these people in Gaza right now, you use that as an excuse to act an ass. Oh, free Palestine, I really care about these kids as you break into Target so you can steal a flat screen. Free Palestine, free Palestine, what about all the kids dying over there as you steal the new Jordans and Nikes from Foot Locker? So I've been sitting back and I've been watching these crowds and I've been watching this movement come together. It's obviously organized. And as I watch it, I keep thinking, okay, what's the end game here? What's the motive? I mean, obviously, I know that they're not really out here because of what's happening in Gaza. I know that. A lot of people will never understand that. A lot of you watching this video will not grasp that reality. But let's pretend like they're really out here for the right reasons, right? I've been wondering, okay, so, so what do you plan on solving? What direction are you taking this? What's your goal? The goal can't be to scream out random nonsense while looting stores and small-owned businesses in the name of Palestine. So I'm looking around for a direction. Where are y'all headed with this? What, what's your real goal here? And apparently, one of their main goals is to, I kid you not, one of the main goals is to just go outside of KFC and yell and scream at the top of their lungs. I know it sounds funny, 
But I am dead serious when I say that KFCs are under attack as we speak throughout the entire world. For some reason, the Free Palestine Movement, they have decided that the, 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 most, the most effective way to stop this war, the most effective way to stop this genocide is by going and yelling random nonsense outside of Kentucky Fried Chicken. The collective mind power of millions upon millions upon millions of dumbass people across the entire world, they've come together in a collective and the one thing they, they're they all gravitating towards is yelling outside of Kentucky Fried Chicken. Really think about that. Look at the, the sheer amount of people who are flooding the streets across the world. All of these brains out there. All of these minds out there. And none of them can form a proper argument. None of them can form a proper direction. They don't know what direction they're going with this movement. But hell, they're going to go yell outside of Kentucky Fried Chicken. Now, for the life of me, I don't understand this. I find it hilarious. As a fat guy, I kind of get angry. Because listen... I'm not pro-Israel, I'm not pro-Palestine, but don't come in with my fried chicken. But little do the Palestinians know, KFC is not the place to go for chicken. Okay, I live in the South. KFC is a last resort. They think they're aiming for the head. They think they're doing something by coming for KFC because they've never had some good home cooking. So in their eyes, they think, ha oh, ha, oh, this is a death strike to America. We'll shout, Akbar outside of KFC all night, all day. We'll make sure you don't get your bucket of chicken and your mashed potatoes and your gravy and your coleslaw. And once again, for the life of me, I just can't figure out what in the hell this has to do with the kids in Gaza. What does this have to do with Palestine? What does this have to do with the Palestinians? What does this have to do with any freaking thing in the world? It has nothing to do with nothing. But when you get a bunch of sheep, a bunch of followers... And you parade them around the streets with no direction. This is what you get. You get an angry mob screaming about a conflict that they know nothing about outside of a fast food restaurant. Now, I'm going to go ahead and roll a couple of clips from KFCs around the world. And then I'll be right back with more thoughts. <laughs> हमारा एहतजाज रंग ले आया है और के एफ सी बंद हो चुका है बिल्कुल ये इंतजामिया खड़ी है इसकी ये के एफ सी के मैनेजर्स खड़े सारे और के एफ सी फिलहाल आज के लिए बंद हो चुका है संडे के दिन के लिए के एफ सी बंद है और इन शाह इसको पक्का पक्का ताला लगवा के रहेंगे हम मेरा तो स्कूल का दोस्त है वो एन क्लासेस वाला ना I'm sure that the colonel is rolling around in his grave right now. 
I dare these people to come to a KFC near me trying this nonsense. <laughs> but seriously, folks, I mean, what else can you say? This is the result of just a bunch of really dumb people doing really dumb things because they have nothing better to do. A lot of these people, they just want a sense of belonging. The overall world, especially here in the West, we've lost a sense of community. These people are seeking a community to belong to. They're seeking friends. They're seeking social media clout. They know if they post, oh, I was at this Palestine protest, that they'll get a lot of likes on Instagram. Most of these people don't really care about what they're fighting for. If they did, I think they would be doing something more effective than standing outside of KFC, making sure that no one gets their biscuits. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> I, I, I can't even begin to put into words how stupid this actually is, but I'm hoping that the majority of you all can see how stupid this is. Because you have to be careful. It's easy, like I, like I keep saying throughout all my videos, they want you to get caught up in your emotions. Regardless of how you feel about what's happening in Gaza, I can agree, it's terrible. I don't agree with everything that's happening over there. But you can't let your emotions cloud your judgment. So even if you feel terrible about, about what's happening in Gaza, you should be able to also recognize that a bunch of weirdos yelling outside of KFC is not helping anything at all. In fact, all they're doing is causing more problems that could lead to more violence and more bloodshed. It's always funny to me when we have these groups march through the streets pretending that they're all about peace, yet they get violent with anyone who disagrees with them or any innocent bystander that may just so happen to get in their way as they're trying to get from point A to point B. You know, you can't be preaching about pro-peace and then be tearing through people's businesses, looting, snatching people out of their cars because they're trying to get to work. But that's what we're seeing, folks. So regardless of how you feel about what's happening between Israel and Gaza, regardless of how you feel about the Palestinians, can we at least keep KFC out of this? Kentucky Fried Chicken has nothing to do with the war in the Middle East, folks. And I've even seen some people saying, oh, well, when you fund KFC, you're funding genocide. <laughs> and it's like, what? When you fund KFC, you're funding genocide. So I guess a lot of like actual Palestinians, not the random college kids who are LARPing throughout the streets of America, but some of these actual Palestinians feel as if, you know, if you spend money on fast food, it's going to go directly into Israel's pockets for them to fund the war. As if, you know, the Pentagon is directly connected to KFC and every single bucket of chicken you buy equals one mortar shell for the Iron Dome that Israel has. Like, I don't get where these people are coming from, but at the end of the day, some things we're just not going to understand. But one thing I know for a fact is that KFC has been painted as public enemy number one. And I don't know what's going to happen at a KFC near you, but if you shop or are you eat at KFC, you better be careful because they're coming. The Palestinians and the woke college assholes of America, they're coming for your Kentucky Fried Chicken. Let me know your thoughts though about all of this down in the comments below. While you're down there, if you want to support the channel, you could do so via Super Thanks, or you can support my channel for free by sharing this video, hitting that like button, subscribing, ringing that notification bell, and I'll talk to you all soon in the next video.